Right now at five, a registered sex offender is off the streets and facing charges for the rape of three women in West Philadelphia. That suspect surrendered this morning with police hot on his trail. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jessica Dean. And I'm Yuki Washington. Eyewitness News reporter Anita O oh talked to police and neighbors in the community about the developments, and she joins us now from police headquarters. Anita? Yuki and Jess, Robert Johnson is listed as a violent sexual predator in the Megan's Law database, and records show that he's been convicted of sexual crimes twice before, most recently in 2006, and that he was just released from a lengthy stay in prison last year. It's just, it's, it's sickening, man. Kenneth Harris hasn't been able to dull his concern over a recent string of sexual assaults and robberies in his West Philadelphia neighborhood. I'm a father of a four-year-old daughter, you know, and, um, yeah, that's something that you have to worry about. Though investigators call the attacks bold and brazen, they say around 7.30 Thursday morning, 51-year-old Robert Johnson surrendered without incident to police. He was calm when he came in. Investigators believe Johnson, a convicted sex offender, is responsible for a disturbing pattern of approaching women at gunpoint, then sexually assaulting and robbing them. And he's brandishing a weapon to inflict some type of hurt, harm, or danger to these people, man, and you know, it's just not cool. On Wednesday night, authorities recovered clothing and a weapon related to the attacks while serving a search warrant at Johnson's home on the 4100 block of Lighty Avenue. The reported attacks happened just blocks away on July 17th at South Concourse Drive and on July 19th at a gas station at 48th and West Girard Avenue. When it's happening right in your backyard, in your neighborhood, is definitely a problem. Captain Mark Bergman of the Special Victims Unit says the suspect may also be responsible for a June 30th sexual assault and other robberies in the area. He says had authorities not released his information, others could have been hurt. And honestly, I, I did. I did believe that he was going to strike you again. And I did speak to Johnson's next door neighbor who told me that he's always been pleasant. She says that before she rushes to judgment, she wants to wait to hear more. But authorities, meantime, believe that Johnson could have struck again and that he that there may be other victims out there. If you know anything, call police. For now, live at police headquarters, I'm Anita O, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Anita, thank you.